So, your game is missing a UI menu. Not a problem. To create a menu, right click the browser, UI, widget blueprint, and use widget. Double click it and it should look like this. Now this window is set up the same way all the other windows like materials, blueprints, and rigs are. The main viewport is right here, the right shows you the details of whatever you've clicked on, and the left shows you the features and options you have available. On the right you'll see designer and graft. For now just understand that designer is where all the visual stuff that you can see for your UI will be created. You can right click to pan the camera and scroll up and down on the mouse to zoom in and out. Now when making a menu the first thing you always need is to drag in a canvas. If you drag the corners you'll see a lot of guides for the most popular dimensions you should probably use. From here on the left there's a bunch of different types of UI features like buttons, images, sliders, and text that you can simply drag onto your UI however you want. If you ever want to get rid of something just select it and delete. You can change the position and the size of any buttons you see. And if you hold shift and drag you can move things in perfectly straight lines. Here under the hierarchy you can see a list of everything in your scene. And the important thing to know here is that you can actually parent pieces of UI to each other. For example, if I have a text with the word game and a button, I can place them on top of each other like this, but they're still two separate objects. But if I drag one onto the other in the hierarchy, I can parent the text to the button. And now when I move the button, the two will move together as one object. Now you can imagine how quickly this gets messy when you start to make really complex menus. So always name your shit so you can easily find out what's going on. It doesn't have to be perfect, just be consistent. For example, if it's a text, call it something like T game. If it's a button, call it something like B game. Trust me, you will thank me later. Now the main thing I want to teach you in this vid is order of operations. By default, it will draw the last thing in the hierarchy on top. For example, you can see how we have this red button and this green button. And if we overlap them, the red one is going to be drawn on top. And that's because it is last in the hierarchy. If we were to move the red button before the green button though, now you can see the green button is drawn on top. And that is because it appears later in the hierarchy. Now you can force the system to bend to your will regardless regardless of what order things are in the hierarchy by changing the Z order. So right now everything has a Z order of zero. So it's defaulting the draw priority to the order of the hierarchy. But if I wanted to make the red button appear in front of the green button without messing with the hierarchy, I can do that by giving it a higher Z order. So if I change this to one, now you can see it's going to be drawn on front, which means anything in the higher Z order will always be drawn over something with a lower Z order. Something else you should really know about parenting is if you disable the parent, that will also disable the children. So if I turn this button invisible, the text under it will also become invisible. If we turn the whole canvas invisible, then everything inside the canvas will also be invisible. Now there's a lot of things here that I could spend all day going over, but for now I just want you to practice dragging buttons and text to get a rough draft of what the main screen of your menu should really look like. In my experience, if you're doing a simple mobile phone game, you can never really go wrong with the basic play, options, and quit. Personally, in the last three phone games that I've made, my setup looks more like play, scoreboard, and credits, but feel free to set things up however you want. Anyway, if you join me next video, I'll go into more detail on how to control the specifics of your UI. Otherwise, I hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you around.